with me in the studio to talk about what is taking place at the Brockville Art Center. I'm talking with Victor Kaczkowski. Victor, welcome. Good morning, Doreen. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So what is happening at the Brockville Art Center? What isn't happening I at know. the Brockville Art Center? We so are a busy, busy place this year. So much to talk about today. I'm, I'm really excited about what we're offering. But right. before we go anywhere, yes. we wanted to acknowledge Peter Dunn, former head of the Art Center, being inducted into the Brockville and Area Music and Performing Hall of Fame. Oh, isn't that which nice? Which is a wonderful honor. And it Aww. does it does recognize his contributions to creating uh, a legacy, mm -hmm. getting a foundation set for the Art Center, positioning it as a legitimate uh, art venue for yes. the entire region. It's not just a Brockville institution, it's all Eastern Ontario. So that's great. He's done that. He did a wonderful job. And now we have the new staff have a chance to build on that and to grow further, which we're that's really awesome. excited about. That's so, awesome. Yeah. And congratulations, Peter. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Okay. So now will you tell us what's going on at the Art Center? Well, where would you like to start? The big news, of course, of is course. we have a new projector. Oh, Films you. are back. Yay. Yes, I'm people are really that. pleased. People really missed being able to come and see films. Because as you know, we run films that you don't normally see at the Galaxy. And there's an audience for films that are perhaps a little less Hollywood, a little more thoughtful. And they are picking up. They've been running for two weeks now. I'll mention just as a hint for this weekend, uh, Sunday afternoon at 2 and Sunday evening at 7. Yes. The Boys in the Boat, which is a film about rowing with George Clooney. And he it, directed it looks like it. a really good film. Yes, he, so he directed that he did, one, didn't he? Yes, I think so. Oh, that would be good. So that would be good. A whole range. It's Oscar season right now, mm -hmm. so our film offerings will be Oscar nominees Ooh. for the next little while. So watch out for that. Okay. Usually, t usually Thursdays and Fridays or Thursdays and Saturdays and Sundays, that time period, we'll, we'll always be running films. March break, however, yes. we'll have a film pretty much every day. Offering something for kids to do during okay. the holidays. Mm -hmm. So we'll have films in the morning and the afternoon. Things I've never heard of, but obviously the kids <laughs> have. Trolls Band Together, Wonka, La La Crocodile. I have no idea, <laughs> but they should be entertaining. It'd be Aww. nice to give the kids something to do and get them into the art center. And it, it's a it's a treat for those that have not been to the art center. Uh, absolutely. And so, yes, I, I, I like that idea. I'm glad that you people have done this. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, oh. what is happening after George presents his uh, his film, uh, The Boys in the Boat? What's after that? We have mm -hmm. uh, Grace 2, Celebrating the Tragically Hip. Now, it's been a few years now since Gord Downey died, but the legacy is still there. People still love the hip, especially this area because they're from Kingston. Oh, yeah. Grace 2 does a really nice job of, of performing their music. So that's March 2nd, followed very quickly by the Brothel Operatic Society. And what are they doing? Don't let the name fool you, because they've been around for 70 years. <laughs> and they are celebrating their 70th birthday in a show called From Broadway to Brockville. So nice. they are performing songs that they have performed on stage at the Art Center over the years. Good. Over the, whole la over the last 70 year period. So it's a real mix of, of different styles of Broadway music, but it should be good. It should be, yes. Uh, March mm -hmm. 8th and March 9th. Okay. Um, is there another movie that's called The Zone of Interest that might be shown on February 29th? Absolutely. An Oscar nominee. Uh, we're not quite sure what to make of this one. Yes. Uh, I don't want to get into the plot too much, but basically uh -huh. it involves a concentration camp mm -hmm. and a house next door to it that is, belongs to the commandant. So I haven't seen the film yet, but mm -hmm. it sounds intriguing because they've, they've in essence, they've created this little oasis yes. for themselves, yet the horrors are immediately across the Just other side Just on the, of the other fence. side of the fence, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I think mm -hmm. that should be quite an interesting film, and it's got great reviews and is nominated for, I think, five, nomina uh, five. Academy Awards. <gasps> So that should okay. be interesting, yes. All righty. So do we have more music that's coming? We have an endless stream of music, <laughs> different tastes. Yes. Uh, I mean, we know country's always po uh, popular here. Folk music's mm -hmm. always popular here. We're adding a little more rock. 
We just had an ACDC band come in on Saturday. Yes. They were really good. I'm not a, I'm not an ACDC fan myself, mm -hmm. but people enjoyed themselves. Good. People left happy, and that's what was important. The band did a really good job. We also got a lot of people who said to me, I've never been here before. Oh. So now they know we're here, and now they know we have something to offer them, too. Because it's be about watching. being mm -hmm. diverse yes, as it possible is. and attracting as wide an audience as possible, as possible. You know, you never, to go to, just to go to the Brockville Arts Center is a treat in itself. Absolutely. But I mean, to be able to really uh, connect with people that are on the stage is just, it's awesome. It, it's, yeah. it's an unbeatable experience. It you is. can watch all the films on your TV or on oh, your flat screen you want, no. but to see something live is, is special. It is. Yeah. It is. So who do, are we seeing uh, in March on the 17th? On the 17th, the Mud Men. They're a Celtic band. Okay. And apparently they're quirky, they're entertaining, they're unique. <laughs> think beards, think kilts, think just fun on the stage. So well, just the name, Mud, the mud Men. Man. Exactly. <laughs> They've got me thinking already. <laughs> so their ticket sales are going well for that already. Oh, nice. And people like that style of music. It's full of energy, it's full of life, and people leave with a smile on their well, face. Well, you do, you do. It's, I mean, you can't help but like it. That's so absolutely. after after the Mud Men are there, what's taking place? Coming up in, well, what isn't, every weekend almost for the entire spring is booked with something. Mm -hmm. So if people want to find out more, I would encourage people to go to our website, brockfulartcenter.com, uh, because we list everything that's coming up there, and there's just way too much to, to mention oh, well, today. Yes. yes. Uh, however, I will mention we've got the Lightfoot Band coming up, which mm. is Gordon Lightfoot's original ensemble. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. his musician is going to be performing Lightfoot songs, Aww. which should be pretty special, be I would think. It'll be good. Uh, beyond that, um, I should mention, mm -hmm. we're bringing something back. People have been asking for this in a slightly different format. Okay. As of beginning of March, the Thousand Islands Fine Arts Association will have art hanging oh. in the lobby. Thank goodness. Which oh, is going yes. to be a treat. Thank you. Now there is a now it is specifically for people coming to shows. The doors will not be open during the day. No. But no. for anyone coming f for shows, while they're waiting for the doors to open to the auditorium, they can, they can have a, a cocktail at the bar and they can come and look at some art, and that will rotate. So it'll be something different to see. So yeah, that's, I, I that, like that's that. That's good. That that is that's very good. So they'll be there for a while. Then the uh, they'll uh, be there for the month. Yeah. Okay. And good. And then good. we'll have another group come in. So it awesome. truly is an art center. We've got visual arts. We've got performing arts. We've got music. Yeah. We've got theater. So dancing, dancing everything, dancing, everything. Lots of dance competitions this yes. spring in the yes. Four Seasons Dance Academy and Can Dance. So yeah. We are going to be exhausted by the time June comes around. <laughs> well, why not? It's all for a good cause, and mm -hmm. that is to make people happy and let them enjoy and have entertainment. Absolutely. You got it. Okay, anything else that you would like to tell us? I think that is just quite a lot. It is a lot. Mm -hmm. So again, mm -hmm. I would encourage people to go to our website. Uh, just a reminder to Double check what site you're going to when you're buying tickets. We're running into that problem now more okay. than we used to, is that people will go to a site that they think they've bought tickets at the Arts Center. Oh, dear. But it's a third party masquerading as the Arts Center, and the tickets aren't always valid. Okay. So okay. go to BrockvilleArtsCenter.com and buy your tickets there, or one of us in the box office will be happy yeah. to sell you tickets in person or over the telephone. Awesome. Thank you very much for You're coming very in. You're welcome. I really appreciate it.